Yo, what's up, everybody? It's J-Rock right here. Today I'm going to be hitting you with another comic book review. This from back in uh, 1993. It's called Punisher Suicide Run. Now, believe it or not, back in the 90s, Punisher was a heavy hitter. He actually had three series going at once all through the 90s, right? He always sold fairly well in the 90s. I mean, if you had three series, you were doing okay, right? Now he has trouble kind of uh, holding one series, right? Making it last more than like 15 issues. So anyways, this was a crossover back in 93 with all three series. They didn't bleed over into Iron Man or any of that other stuff, right? There's only little crossover, just Punisher, Punisher Warzone, and Punisher War Journal. Three issues of uh, Warzone, three issues of the regular Punisher, and four issues of War Journal. Now, my issue with this is the table of contents is usually right here, right in the beginning, the first page or so. This one, it has it way, way the hell back in the, in the, at the end over here. Shows you what issues are on there. You can't read them. Not to worry. I will be putting them in the description down the, below. Show you what content you will need in case you want to buy the single issues and whatnot. This is the spine. This book itself is out of print, so it's a little harder to find. You can still get it at about cover price on eBay. Somewhere maybe a few dollars more. Cover price being $35. Contains 11 issues. Now at the end of this book, it has a few articles and like letters pages and so forth. And it has one here, found it kind of interesting. They quoted Punisher as being a character ahead of his time. They go, he's wielding two shotguns. He's dodging bullets. Uh, risking his life to hand out justice. That's justice should be served. For child murderers and so forth, uh, there's only one actual justice, right? And it's at a business end of a gun. And uh, I found that <laughs> little, uh, flipped me out a little bit. But yeah, it, it has that right there. And I was reading some of it. I didn't finish reading all the extras back there, but they're kind of interesting. And it's definitely setting a tone in those letters. They didn't you know what kind of character the Punisher is in case you are not familiar with him. And maybe that's the should have been in the front. So you could kind of get a feel of what you're getting into. Because it ain't going to be anything nice up in here. It's going to be kind of gritty, very violent. Now, the basic plot in this is, at this time, I believe this was the second story I've seen do this at this time. Now a lot of other stories have done it. Uh, uh, the death of Superman being the first one. When Superman died, this was in 93. Superman died back in like 92, I believe. So you had a bunch of other guys fighting to take his throne, right, to take his spot. You had uh, Cyborg Superman, the Man of Steel, Superboy, all trying to be the next Superman while he's gone. Kind of the same thing happens here. Punisher dies, and it's why it's called Suicide Run. He dies, and you got a bunch of other vigilantes trying to be the next Punisher. It's like, I'm going to throw on a shirt with a skeleton. I'm going to throw on a skeleton mask or paint my face. I'll be the next Punisher because... He represents justice the way it should be, and criminals should fear someone like him. He's a symbol of inspiration to victims and to other people that justice will be served. So we need somebody else to carry that mantle. Everybody thinks he's dead. We need somebody else to let these punks know to still strike fear in them that Punisher's always going to be around. There will always be another one, right? Which is, um, if you really think about it, it's not a bad message. And I let these fucking criminals know uh, there's always going to be someone out there handing out beatdowns to this type of uh, people, right? Uh, that they shouldn't going to arrive. So I like where they were going with this. It was pretty interesting. I was digging it. And it's from the 90s, very of its time. At the end of the day, if you've ever watched Death Wish with Charles Bronson, they kill his whole family and he's out to gun every motherfucker that has something to do with it. with gun them down. It's basically who Punisher is. If you've seen those movies, that's... Uh, what inspired Punisher, basically. That's where they got the idea from. Then if you like those movies and that kind of stuff, you'll probably like this. That's the type of feel it's going to give you. All right, so at the beginning of this book, the, the art on the, on the first uh, few issues is pretty cool, but it, it differs. You have a lot of different artists and writers because it is a crossover event, a street-level event with Punisher, so you will have different art styles. But like on the beginning where it starts off, you see a bunch of bodies there and Punisher with a smoking gun as usual, right? So then you get this... Kind of like a black ops type of cop organization with this guy named Nels and Blackwell. Now, Blackwell, he has a mean old mat on for Punisher. He he thinks that's his way to fame. He really hates Punisher. He thinks if I get the Punisher, I'll get all the fame for stopping this vigilante and so forth. So they're after Punisher. 
And then you have all these mobsters like from the Yakuza's, from the different motorcycle gangs, organized crime gangs, street gangs. They, you know, Punisher has killed a lot of people in his days, so so he's made a lot of enemies. They all want him and none of them can stop him, so they figure if we all work together, ah, you know, then we could really let this guy have it. So they're calling out Punisher, setting up a nice little trap for him. Uh, Michael's chipping, Punisher's sidekick tells him, it's obviously a setup. They want you to, they're calling you out, they want you to go to this area to gun you down, they have some type of trap for you. Punisher says, I know, but the thing is, they probably will all be there, so kill all of them, right? This is an opportunity, right, to kill a bunch of these guys. And that's why it's called a suicide mission, suicide run, whatever you want to call it. That's where we're at. You got this police officer named, what's her name? Lynn Michaels. She's, uh, back in the day, she was a lady punisher, but also a police officer. So here she's a cop, and she's getting frustrated with her partner, saying, I know this shit doesn't work with the badge and so forth. So she's going to go back to her vigilante day. She says, I quit being a police officer. She leaves and she already had a pass of being a vigilante back in the days. And it looks like she's going to go back to that because she dons on the Punisher costume. So she believes in his methods a lot more. Like sometimes you need that because with these laws and stuff that the cops got to abide by and the criminals don't, you know, it's like they have their hands tied behind their back while the criminals don't. So that's like an advantage for them, right? So she figures I got to play by their rules so we are on even, even ground, right? So Punisher shows up to this building. Knowing all these guys are there, he has a trick up his sleeve himself. He has this grenade like with a dead man switch, right? So if they shoot him, he lets go of, of the switch and boom, every, he blows up the spot, right? Everybody dies. Shows up with it. All the criminals are like, God damn it, he has this uh, grenade, right? So they hesitate to shoot him because they don't, they don't want to blow up the building. So while they hesitate, he's gunning them all down. And one of them says, hey, if we don't shoot him, he's gunning us down anyway. So fucking shoot this bastard. While they start shooting them, sure enough, grenade goes off. And he already had rigged more grenades down in the building. So the whole building goes down. Punisher becomes public enemy number one after this. Because when he blows up this building, you don't know what people were there besides these criminals. You don't know if it was abandoned or not. And the building falls. You don't know who's going to fall on and whatnot, right? So this building gets destroyed, kills every motherfucker in sight. It's a, like 30-story building, right? It's a skyscraper. Goes down, everybody in it dies. Luckily, Punisher survives, but nobody knows he survives. Everybody's like, hey, there's a bunch of dead bodies here. We don't know who's Frank Castle, who's not. So a lot of people, the news reporters, so forth, think he's dead. CIA goes, looks for the body. They think he's dead. He puts his clothes onto another dead victim, so they think that that's him. Go we found Punisher. He's dead. That guy Blackwell, he doesn't believe and nails. They don't believe Punisher's dead. They're like, nah, he, he's too smart. He's too good. That's not him. Can't be. So they want to go to the more, examine the bodies and so forth. And, and they really need real solid proof that that body is Frank Castle. And this black girl guy's like, no, no way it can be. Because the only way Punisher will ever die is if I, I'm the only one with the skills to pay the bills, right? Like in his mind. So he couldn't have just died in this explosion. Meanwhile, on the news, they're like, if Punisher is alive, everybody, every agency is looking for him because... Bunch of people died, a lot of innocent people too, because the building blew up, landed on people, so forth, like, you know, he just said, man, whatever, killed other people passing by. This is when a lot of other people want to, uh, you know, they say he was an inspiration. So we want to pick up the mantle, we want to, we must finish his duty, keep the streets clean, and so forth. You have uh, this guy named uh, Payback. He was also a future Punisher vigilante, a Punisher wannabe, as anti Punisher. He hates Punisher, but at the same time, he's kind of like him. He's a vigilante himself. So him and uh, Lynn Michaels, the detective that went, the woman Punisher, um, she went to look for him. She goes, we got to team up together. We form a group. We're stronger that way. So now we're building up other rogue Punishers, right? This whole explosion, uh, Frank Castle, a.k.a. Punisher, happens to escape in somebody's car or whatever, right? And in this car is this little girl named Amy. He's, he's in this car, she gets to her house, he hides in her, it's, it's a tree house, right? Huge tree house, he's hiding in there, when she goes in there to play, she's like, hey, who are you? She's like, oh, don't say I'm hiding here, or whatever, right? Because he's, he's all beat up and whatnot, he just came off of an exploding building, lucky to be alive. Her dad happens to be the town sheriff, so he just his luck, right? 
So he tells her dad to the treehouse. It's like, what the fuck are you doing with my daughter? You, you know, you perv and whatnot. Grabs Punisher, arrests him, takes him to the local uh, station. Punisher tells him, I'm Punisher. You know what happened with those exploding buildings all over the news? Was well, I'm Frank Castle. Once people find out you had me in the station because you ran my prints, he goes, all the cops are going to find out. Organized crime. It, it, everybody's going to find out. He goes, they're going to come over here. They're going to try to get through you to get to me. So you're going to be a sitting duck here. He goes, let me go that way. Once I'm gone, they're only going to be looking for me and you. they're going to leave you alone, basically. He doesn't really believe him. So then uh, these criminals start calling, saying, we got your daughter and family. You know, leave the precinct. Leave Punisher there we, so we could just go kill them, right? Or he's in the cell or whatever. And he's like, oh, now I believe him, right? Now I believe he's Frank Castle. And Punisher tells him, look, these are criminals. They're not men of the word. The moment you leave and leave me here, they're going to kill them. So we got to go save them. And this guy knows Punisher's right. He goes, if anybody knows about losing their family or kids, it's Frank Castle. Because he lost his whole family to crime. So he says, you know where I'm coming from right now. So I do believe you will help me because you've been there too. So he releases Frank. And they're on the same side. He's a likable character. He's very by the law, honest cop, doing what he thinks is right, right? So meanwhile, while all this is going down, Blackwell and uh, the rest of the Black Ops team or whatever, the other uh, cops, they capture um, Lynn Michaels and, and Payback because while Frank Castle's been gone, they've been fighting crime and whatnot. These guys grabbed them thinking they were Punisher. They found out they're clearly not the real Frank Castle. They're not the real deal. So they're just beating the shit out of them, interrogating them, trying to get them to say where the real Frank Castle's at. Obviously, they don't know because they don't work with the Punisher. They're, they're doing this on their own, trying to look up to him, right? But they don't work with him. I, uh, they're interrogating him. Black was slapping Lynn Michaels around, pulling her hair and, you know, being a real dick. And uh, Payback, trying to protect her somewhat, he starts talking shit to him. And, and uh, he's like, oh, what a real man, right? What a real man you are. And he starts hitting him. He goes, oh, I'm not a man because I'm hitting a woman. How about I hit you? So now he feels like he's a man, right? Because now he's being on a tied up guy, right? The guy that's tied up in a chair. He's being on him pretty good. You know, just an abusive cop over, overstepping his boundaries, basically, right? And his partner lets him know. Nels, he tells him, like, you're going a little too far. Relax with that. And once he leaves, that's his superior. Once he leaves, he's talking to another partner of his. And the other partner's like, you're going too far. I have to say something because he's just beating the shit out of him. So when this guy walks away, Blackwood just shoots his partner in the back of the head. So he's just lost it. He's gone psycho. He's obsessed with Punisher. He's become a criminal himself. So that, that was just crazy. It was a, a holy shit moment, right? It's like, oh my God. You know, this guy just, he went too far when he did this. So now this guy has to explain this to his superiors. So, luckily, when he goes to talk to them and he comes back, uh, Paycheck and Lynn Michaels, they escape. So, that works in his favor because now he's like, oh, yeah, they escaped and um, they uh, shot him. They shot him in the head, right? I tried to stop him, but I couldn't. So, he puts the blame on them, but it was clearly him. Now, there was another police officer at this time giving an interview, and he's dressed up like the Punisher. And he's saying this symbol is going to represent the police department from now on. Punisher's idea wasn't completely off base. It just needed to be tweaked, right? So he's like, we're going to get a bunch of uh, other police officers that are well-trained. We're going to start a new organization to stop these type of criminals. So his name will live on because uh, not all he did was bad. He did do some good. So they're trying to get some fame and some publicity and the news off of Punisher's name. Right now that this big event happened, they're trying to twist the story where how it could work in the favor of the police department and Put a bit of a positive spin on everything that happened because a lot of people did die. Everything went to shit, right? And, you know, when these type of situations, when you're on the news, you can't make things sound so hopeless and so terrible. You got to, you know, try to show that, that we could get some good out of this because people need hope. People need to think positive, right? You, that's how you have rise and suffer when you tell everybody there's no hope. Uh, things will never get better. That's a terrible message to send. So this cop is trying to Send a positive message, but at the same time trying to get some fame for yourself, right? It's 15 minutes of fame. At this same time, we got this uh, mobster. He decides, you know what? I'll get one of my mob uh, members to dress up as Punisher. The guy that's well-built, looks kind of like Punisher. 
he sends this guy to save some people and people know he's a mob uh, member but as soon as he saves people and is dressed like punisher now that people are rooting for people in these vigilante suits puts a positive spin for the mob as well they're like you know we're here to save people you know we're not all bad either so so everybody's trying to find out an angle right at, with this whole breaking news this guy in the the guy in the uh, police department that wants to start this group of vigilante cops type of thing He's pissed off that the mobs are trying to do the same things. Like they're trying to steal my 15 minutes of fame. So there's a mob guy that's a Punisher wannabe, and this police officer that's trying to start a Punisher group. They get into it. Not right there on the scene with the news reporters there, but later down the road, they get into it. And this mob guy ends up shooting the freaking uh, police officer in the head. It's kind of brutal right here. Some, this guy Blackwell that's just obsessed with Punisher shows up, and this. Mob guy looks so much like Punisher, he thinks Punisher he just killed another police officer. He kills this guy. When he kills this guy, he finds out that's clearly not the Punisher. So meanwhile, Punisher is saving this, uh, he's working with the sheriff, saving the sheriff's daughter from at uh, their house from these other criminals. They gun all these guys down and whatnot. Once they get rid of all of them, uh, you have the inevitable showdown with him and Blackwell. He kind of beats the shit out of Black Blackwell, which is not much of a challenge. He lets him know you're not even on my level, wasn't even close. He felt very upset and he did a lot of fucked up shit on the way to finding Punisher. So he felt like a creep and like an asshole you root against. But once he met up with Punisher, he never felt like a threat. Like he never felt like, oh, he's going to be a viable match or challenge for the Punisher. I never got that vibe. I always felt Punisher's going to do away with him pretty easy. And he did. The one tricky part was while they were fighting, the, poli uh, the news reporter showed up on a helicopter. They show up to film it. And, oh, you can't shoot me. You can't keep beating on me while the news is on. I'm a police officer. Right? Punisher is like, I don't, I don't work that way. That's not the way I operate. Everybody already knows I'm a fucking killer. So he still shoots them with cameras rolling on the Fox 11 news and all that good stuff, right? Still just lets them have it. And uh, the sheriff... He's like, he lets Punisher get away. He goes, uh, put out, he tries to stop him at first and he thinks about it. He lets him keep walking. He realizes this guy saved my daughter. He's actually a freaking hero. So when they interview him on the news, he's like, oh, there's a lot of people with Punisher shirts, whatever. That wasn't him. Um, we don't know where the real Punisher's at <laughs> and so forth. So he kind of, you know, uh, switches the story around again. That's kind of where the story ends. And there was a lot of other Punishers, a lot of other Punisher wannabes, but their stories were, it didn't really connect with this story, but there was a few other kind of cool different angles they took with Punisher. I try to cover just the main story, not what the other All in all, this story was solid, solid read. People should check it out if they haven't, because there was so much books out in the 90s, so much different companies. This, this gets overlooked. It gets overlooked. And uh, people should give it a read. This is my first time reading it. Uh, if I had to grade it, I would say somewhere about a B, B minus, solid read. I, I really like what they did here with the media, because the media's following this story. It was a big story, you know, buildings, think 9-11, buildings went down, they're recording everything, all the deaths and all that. So it's kind of something like that, and you see how every person is trying to use the media thing, right? So that was kind of crazy, the way they did all that. It was a nice touch, because that's a very real thing out here, and with, 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 as far as media and news and so forth and i like what they did with all these regular folks wanting to step up to the plate and do some good and you know punisher wasn't perfect he's kind of a villain in a way but it shows that a lot of people do believe in him and he does bring good in people right he brings people that want to bring justice they they're law-abiding citizens but at the same time he encourages you know uh wanting people to take the law into their own hands which is not a good thing so it, it comes at a lot of different angles. Each character does. One guy wants to be Punisher and he does it in a correct way as a police officer. One guy wants to be Punisher and he's very reckless. One guy wants to be Punisher and gets himself killed because he doesn't know what he's doing. So they give a lot of different approaches. That's why they have so many different Punishers, which was real nice. It's always nice to give a lot of different takes on the same exact uh, situation. Hey, so if you guys have any more Punisher recommendations, let me know in the comment section down below so I could give them a read and maybe drop a review down the, down the line. Um, also, if you read this book, let me know what you thought about it. What grade would you give it? Let me know in the comment section down below as well. 
Other than that, you know, hopefully you hit that like button if you like the video. And if you want to see some more of the same, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way I'll notify you on your feed when the next time my next video is up. Other than that, just like to thank you guys for taking some time every day to watch this video and hear me talk about Punisher a little bit. Thank you guys all next time.